Hello everybody and welcome to Artworks Log Tube and today I'm going to unpack this nice package um, I bought a log from St. Petersburg on the Russian eBay called Avito and yes let's see what's inside there It's my first unpacking of a Russian package, so... don't know where to cut out. There we go. There. That's good. Hanging here. Well, mm. okay. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't know how to open Russian post packages, so. And uh, what I ordered is a brand new Ziboda 441 lock. Wow. So let us see what we got here inside. That's it. The original Emboda 441 lock. Yeah. I was waiting for it so long. So let me just take out everything from here and then we will see what we got here inside. Like this original package. So, what we got? First, we got the lock body. So, what you actually see here is 
uh, two in one lock. So we got like the Abboy. Mm. Lock. So it's. Well, Boda was a company that was a daughter company from Abloy. So they produce the same locks. Like, well. And Boda then just uh, completely went to Abloy. So. So. Boulder locks are more rare than Abloy locks, yes. So, how does this lock work? Well, let me show. Well, we got a lever lock here, um, it's like the Arbor 435, I think, yes. Um, yes, it's eight levers, so four levers before the locking bar and four levers behind the locking bar. and. I guess I have four skates, even so it's harder to pick open this. Then we got a normal latch here, so let's just operate. And then we got automatic latch, so this is like the Arbloy 4190. So you just close the door and, and it automatically locks, so you cannot if you push on the latch, you can retract it back. So you can only push it deep inside and push this switch here down. So it will not lock automatically. So you will have just a normal function. Okay. Then we got here as a security strike plate, so the thing here, well, uh, that's screw inside, so be careful if you touch it. This screw even interact with this latch here, so you can adjust it on different heights, so if you have a, well, like this is for a uh, Right closing door, but if you want to have it to a left closing door, you just unscrew it and screw in the screw and put it on the right position here in this hole. So it's really easy to do. Well, this is a security strike plate because we have um, two mounting screws here going and two mounting screws going into the angel. So it's like, yes, in this position. Well, then we got here the cylinder, it's not a boulder cylinder, it's a tree ring, but it's like the same, so that's the budding. Yes, so we got six keys, well, that's really good, and of course it works. We need to move. Then we got here on the farm turn. Well, yes, it's nice. 
other thing is brass plated. So move on. Here we can see the two strike um yes locking plate keyhole plates for the um, yes for this lock like the double bitted key then we got here the decorating plate for the cylinder so it will be like this inside the door very nice okay then what we got here is these are the keys for the low lock so the double button key and that's a profile we got actually one two even even six keys Then we got the handle. So, mm, where is my knife? Where I put it down here. It's a Primo handle, it's even brass made, so, yes. just do it carefully, we don't want to break down anything. Yeah, there we go, nice handles. Then we got here inside. Come on, cooperate with me. So what we got inside here yeah, are uh, the two decorating plates. Um, so these are cover plates and uh, under the cover plate we got this plate. So these are mounted with screws. So there are two main screws, so one goes here inside, like this, it has a cut out here so you can hold it with a screwdriver, from a flat screwdriver, and there's a cross key screw, so you put it like here inside, and then unscrew it, but yes, you are cross key was your Philips cross key I think a PH2 will fit in here and try it.
then we got this plastic cover so you put them just on the door handle like this then take your decorative plate on the handle uh, uh, then came this plate so it will be like this because some people do it wrong they put it between this and then they get just scratches here on the decorating face plate uh, that's not so pretty looking okay Then we got here the installation instructions on the lock. Well, we got two cover players, nice wires. and a lot of screws. So. These screws are for the cover planes that hold on the thumb turn and for the cylinder. These screws that you can cut individually to your length of the door and uh, for the underlock, so for the double butted key plates these are for the door handles and these are for the cylinder so what's the aim go Then we got this bar, you can even bite it so to the optimal line of your lock. And it normally sits here behind this plate, so then we got eight of this tiny little Phillips screws. These are for the door handle and cover plates. And these four brass screws, so there are four of them, are for the lock and the face plate. And these are for the face plate, but these are the angel screws, so they are not brass, but are like metal colored. And then you got these pins, like, so they are just going into the door handle. You stuck them here inside. Yes, and just hammer them inside. Okay. okay. I will show you now how the lock will looks like when it's completely assembled. Um, by the way, there's just a plastic cover for the double-embedded key, so it goes for the outside like this. 